what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A Trump supporter walked smack dead in the middle of a Capitol Hill occupation zone, and it didn't go well. You see, the protesters were anti-Trump protesters. This dude took it upon himself to put on a MAGA hat, a Trump t-shirt, and walk around with the American flag just bouncing through the protesters. A strange set of events occurred shortly after. Initially, the people that he was antagonizing, he was trying to get the reaction from, they were a little aggressive with him. One guy snatched his flag and took off running. They got the flag back. And one of the reasons why he got the flag back was because there were black people that was really, really dead set on making sure he wasn't harmed and making sure that everybody knew they didn't snatch his flag. I mean, they kind of went out of their way, especially the males. Well, the female in the beginning, you'll see the video. But she was like, we didn't do this. It was a white person who took the flag from him. Look, we didn't do it, okay? We didn't do it. We didn't do it. <laughs> and then this one black lady decided, you know what, I want this damn flag. So she tried to snatch the flag from him. And who do you think held her back? Could it have been a white nationalist or Nazi or a Klansman or just a good old Southern redneck? No, none of the above. How about a black man? Ding, 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 ding. It was a couple of black dudes, you'll see. They were really trying to save him. A couple of black dudes, and I think the guy was Hispanic. But they were really trying to save him. Like, this is not what we're about. We're peaceful. We're a peaceful product. This is not going to help the protest. We're peaceful. Let me tell you something, fam. When you're protesting, you ever noticed how the other side protests? They protest in a manner where, yeah, they sometimes come, well, most all the time, <laughs> come off as aggressive. But they let you know, if you come over here messing with us, we're going to give you that work. That's what the left don't have. They don't have that work. The left are afraid to engage. They're always talking that peace shit. Martin Luther King was talking that piece shit. Look what happened. Malcolm wasn't talking it, but look what happened. The police ain't about peace. Look what happens. I'm just saying, fam. I think when you have a space you should protect your space. They were there first. It was their protest. They had every right to have their protest and not be disturbed, not have their First Amendment rights treaded on. They had every right to protest in peace. But once somebody come through there trying to disrupt that peace, they have every right to stand as God-fearing Americans and to defend the front. Stand strong, hold the line. They have every right to. People shouldn't think, should, people shouldn't feel like they can just break the line whenever they feel like it. They can just go right through you and just tread on your protest 
tread on your boycott. They shouldn't, they, people should, there should be some fear associated with that. And the left, oh man. See, that's why they want to get rid of Antifa. Antifa, they'll, they'll get at you. <laughs> that's the only reason why Trump wants to name Antifa a terrorist organization. Because, because, they're just like the Klan, you know. They get down like the white supremacists and the and the the neo Nazis and all of them, you know, the, the kind of people that uh, that that's a big part of the Republican Party. <laughs> I told y'all family a long time ago. Bullies don't care for bullies. They hate bullies. So that's why when you put the bully back on them, when you put it on them, they immediately play victim or they scat like rats. They just choom, 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 choom. They get up out of there because they don't want that heat. They can't stand the heat, at least not for long. They, they, they thrive. Bullies thrive on intimidation. They thrive. This is, it gives them life making people afraid of them, terrorizing people. That's what get bullies off because bullies pretty much have no other skill in life. They have nothing else that, can, that they can really get attention. And this is why they turn to bullying because they don't have anything else going for themselves. Like they have bad character. Many of them have, many of them are bad looking, you know, can't hold down a, relationship. A lot of them can't hold down a job. That's why a lot of them move far, far away off into the country so they can be by themselves and so that their deficiencies will go unnoticed. Yeah, I pretty much got them down, Pat. Been around them. Yeah. So it's just absolutely amazing how dude was able to walk through that crowd. What black person you know that would walk through a Klan rally in the middle of a Klan rally by himself with, let's say, uh, a Black Panther outfit on or a shirt that say Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, Malcolm X. Even if they had a Martin Luther King t-shirt on, they'd probably get beat to death because Although Martin was, Martin was nonviolent, they were very violent towards Martin. They didn't give a damn about that nonviolent stuff. This is what some of you don't understand. I say, look, being nonviolent has its place. Being nonviolent, you know, it gives you a lot of peace. There's a time for everything. For everything. There is a time. And if you take that off the table, your enemies will run over you. Your enemies have to know that you will give them the business if necessary. Think about what I'm saying, fam. This dude was very confident that nothing would happen to him. No one would harm him. But I bet you he couldn't have even guessed. He couldn't have anticipated that those black folks was going to be a chicken and jiving, chicken and jiving, huh, huh, chicken and jiving. <laughs> Shucking and jiving. He couldn't have imagined it. They were really trying to save him. Leave him alone, leave him alone. No, this is not what we're about. No, 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 no. I'm bisexual. No, leave him alone, leave him alone. <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. Let us pray. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? <laughs>